Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about the outline sketch of the classification of the chordates. If we talk about the classification of the chordates, then they have been divided into two major groups. One is known as the A craniata and another is known as the group craniata. Now the question rises that what do we mean by A craniata? A craniata means those which are not having the cranium and craniata means those which are having the cranium okay now they are also called as the protochordates proto means what first means they were the first chordates or the primitive chordates and they are also called as the u chordates u means what true so they are called as the true chordates okay now this group a craniata has been classified into two subphylums one is known as the urochordata, another is known as the cephalochordata. Okay, the group A craniata is divided into two subphylums. One is known as the urochordata, and another is known as the cephalochordata. Okay, exactly here you can see that the group craniata is divided into only one subphylum, and that is known as the vertebrata. We know very well vertebrates are the organisms which are having the vertebral column and it is the most important subphylum of the chordata okay now this subphylum vertebrata has been classified into two major divisions one is known as the agnatha and another is known as the gnathostomata now what is the meaning of the word agnatha Agnetha means they are lacking the jaws. In them the jaws are absent. While what do we mean by the gnathostomata? Gnatho means jaw and stomata means mouth. Means they bear jaw in their mouth. So subphylum vertebrata is divided into two divisions based on the absence of the jaw and the presence of the jaw. Those which are not having the jaw are called as the agnetha and those which have jaws are called as the gnathostomatas. Okay. Now, this division agnetha is classified into two classes. One is known as the ostracodermy and another is known as the cyclostomata. Okay. And the division gnathostomata is divided into two super classes one is known as the pieces and the another is known as the tetrapoda in pieces all the fishes are included in pieces all the fishes are included okay and what do we mean by the tetrapoda tetrapoda means they have the four appendages tetra means four poda means legs means they are four legged organisms now this super class species is divided into three classes the most primitive class of the super class species is the placodermy but the two advanced classes are one is known as the chondrichthyes another is known as the osteichthyes chondrichthyes means they are cartilaginous they are cartilaginous fishes and Osteochites means they are bony fishes. Okay, so all bony fishes are included in the class Osteochites and all cartilaginous fishes are included in the class Chondrichites. Now, the super class Tetrapoda has been classified into four classes class Amphibia, class Reptilia, class Aves. And class mammalia. Again, I am repeating super class tetrapoda has been divided into four classes class amphibia, class reptilia, class avis, and class mammalia. Okay, so students, this is the outline sketch of the classification of the chordates. In the coming days, I will be uploading some videos which will be based on the description of this outline sketch. Okay. So we will be discussing in detail in the coming videos. Thanks a lot for watching me. 
If you want to take the screenshot of this video, you can take.